morning walk. Hope the water comes back. Take my little stroll. It's been a minute. Took a break over the weekend. But praise God, I'm here. Oh, it's my river. Okay, I go a little further and further. And every day, I get stronger and stronger. Have you got your steps in today? Just a quick hello. Hey, y'all. Taking a stroll. It's my, uh, this is what, Wednesday? It is Wednesday. And taking a quick break from work and getting out, taking a walk. Because it's going to rain later. Yes, it's going to rain. And I was bad this morning. I slept in. From the south, you can smell the rain. <laughs> you can smell the rain. Well, yes. <laughs> Can't say you're from the south and you don't smell the rain. I can smell it in the air. Smell it. Something, something my parents used to always say, especially my dad, because he was a farmer. So he would come out, I can smell rain. We got to get this done. Yeah, you can smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, so we just came on to say hello. Hey, y'all and get this done always remember never forget we love you and there's nothing, nothing you can do, do about, about it, it. Peace. peace It's been a while since we had a morning porch chronicle. I've been getting up a little late and just getting out here to do this. So I got up early and went out earlier today. So I'm actually able to sit on the porch and do my devotionals before work and um, have a little chat with you guys. Uh, it's It's been an okay week. I won't say it's been top of the morning <laughs> but it's been an okay week and I'm blessed to be able to get up and move my body got out and got about 25 minutes of steps in uh, gonna probably do something at lunchtime also but um, it's been good it's been good keeping it up I I can notice a change in the clothes that I wear, my clothes are feeling a lot loose. Uh, my stomach is going down somewhat. So I read somewhere that the best time to um, go walking is in the morning before you have anything on your stomach or anything while you're still in a fasting mode. And uh, I've been doing that and, and I can tell the difference. Um, I was talking to my sister the other day and mentioned to her, you know, I started this journey actually about two years ago when I went on um, Noom. I started using Noom and uh, on Noom, I, I got down about 30 pounds and then I got off of it. Who knows why? <laughs> and... But, but, probably because it, it it wasn't giving me what I wanted I don't I don't know it just didn't didn't hit the button but I did that and gained back about 10 pounds and then now um, about a year now I've been on Weight Watchers and I'm down um, 21 pounds so in all I've lost about about 40 42 pounds in two years 
it's taken me two years to lose 40 pounds, but I'm losing. I'm not going the other direction. That's the, the good thing. So, but uh, I, the Lord just brought that to me because, you, you know, I've been feeling all down. It's taken me this long to lose not even 20 pounds and blah, blah, blah. You know how you bring yourself down. That's the enemy. Don't let him do that to you. And I and I and the Lord told me not to let him do that to me because I am successful. It may not be as quickly as when you were in your twenties that you could lose ten pounds in a week, but it is coming off and it, it just takes time. Just take time. And it's a lifetime change. It's not something that I'm gonna do for a couple of years and stop. This is lifetime. I have to the remainder of my life, I have to monitor what I put in my mouth and how I move my body. Point. Period. That's just the way it is. If I plan on living for a good length of time. So, if you're younger and you're out there, pay attention to your body. Take care of your body while it's young. Don't, don't abuse it. Don't um, do drugs and eat eat horribly and and you know and and then diet on and off that was my problem dieting on and off it's all about slow and easy and just eating smaller portions and moving so it's taken me 60 years to get that <laughs> but I'm here thank God I'm here have a blessed day folks and remember and never forget we love you there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for watching. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday, the 1st of July. And I'm out getting my steps in. Had a restful weekend. And now it's time to get back to business. Do I want to? No. But I'm out. So, looking at nature. It's a beautiful thing. See you at the porch. Good morning again. I am back at the house. Took my trot on the bridge and feeling good but I'm running a little late so thank you for watching uh, there's a scripture been on my heart all weekend and it's one that I learned when I was pretty much a baby but it's the 23rd Psalms and I want you to take that to heart and remember and I always and I did a video about the 23rd Psalms if you go back and look at it uh, when I thought I was diagnosed with colon cancer but God but uh, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I have no evil, no fear. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup overfloweth. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Take that to heart, people. He is always with you. No matter how dark the path may get, no matter how dark your life may seem, He is always there. He may not be as present as you think He is, but He is always there. Remember that. As we go through these trials and times in this world right now, 23rd Psalms is what we need. So, I pray that you have a blessed day. Remember, never forget, we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. And we're praying for you. Bye. 
Howdy, howdy. Hey, y'all. Yeah, we're out here and the sun is like here. Yeah, it is. It's warm out. <laughs> but on a break, thought I would get some steps in. Bringing the hubby along. Hey, y'all. My special guest star. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't have my equipment with me. So it's all handheld stuff. Yeah, it's okay. And we're doing okay. Yeah, it's fine. And we can't see you. That's all right. No, I can see y'all. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It's just the sun is, is shining on the, on the phone surface. It's fine. Well, any words of wisdom? I don't have any words of wisdom. Um... There's a video about monetization coming out today, so y'all want to check that out for sure. I did that this morning. You want to check that out? Um, it sort of tells the truth about it, so because there's a, there's a lot of people who just got monetized. That's awesome, good for you. But I want to tell the you know I don't want people to get the wrong idea about what the real deal is because uh, we've had some questions. So we're gonna go ahead and put that video up this afternoon uh, after we get out of this heat. But this heat is uh, for real, y'all. <laughs> and check that out. And thanks for um, subscribing and thanks for sharing and thanks for commenting and all that stuff. We appreciate it. Now, know. now to get done with our walk. Because I only have my break right now. Right. Ooh, bugs. <laughs> Always remember. Never forget. We love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace out. Peace. Ooh, mosquitoes.